and stop putting on a front. Pause that a minute, just while I have a look at this with you. Right, I'm looking at what we're all being told about this Nordic cold front that's coming in and hitting the UK at the moment. And I've just been out in the garden uh, with the body warmer on, thermal leggings, thermal top, and a tank top, hoodie tank top. A bit chilly on the soles of the feet, but nothing freezing like they've been saying. I'm more interested in what I'm seeing. Right, let's just show you what the timestamp is on it. Right, so you can see what sort of time frame we're looking at, yeah? Right, you've got this coming in from that area and swirling round. You can actually see it starting to swirl. Then you've got a cold front coming down here, being pushed in from the west. You can see it shearing. This is just going by the cloud cover, nothing else. And I'm not a weatherman, this is just what I'm seeing and making sense of myself. Then you've got this. Azores heat. Push in up at that. So that cold front's coming down. That warm front's coming up. And it's going to meet somewhere around there. Look what's there on that line. The Bay of Biscay. And what's the date? 14th of October. So while they're all telling you, look over there, put your gas heating on. They're not telling you about what's happening over here. Because if those two fronts collide in the Bay of Biscay again, UK's in trouble. But look over there, folks. Put your heating on. Stay indoors. That's it, because we earn taxes from that, don't we? The heating gas and its exorbitant high prices. It's all money, money, money. Greedy bastards. All right, let's have a look at local media for you. Let's see how that's going today. I'm I'm just laughing at it because it's just getting so ridiculous. <coughs> well, cheers. One of a free pack I got when I went shopping last time. I gave one to me mate, had one to me one for myself, and this is the one that I forgot about that was in the fridge with a pack of mince ground beef. Wait, dog fart. Go over there. Not right underneath my nose. Go away with that smell. <laughs> That's rancid. Roxy, go and get in your bed, please. Go on. Good girl, you're not being told off. That's just disgusting. Go away. Go. In your bed or play with your toys. Stay over that side of the room. Don't sit under my nose. Oh. One of those smells you could actually taste. Ugh, not nice. Right, what we got here? 17 pupils. It's second or third time this has happened at this particular school. Got dogs attacking uh, sheep. And we've got this.
been named Virgo. Yeah, they're actually saying uh, it's got no ring tag or markings on it. They're advising people to put um, road, remove roadkill. In other words, they don't really want it settling in this area or hunting in this area. So remove any roadkill, you see. Because it's about protecting the bird, isn't it? Not... Uh, having vultures circling over the city because that wouldn't look good at all would it not with the vultures on the streets pushing people about and trying to take their food money a bearded vulture and bearded policeman oh we're saying nothing more about mr smith a eh? When it landed to eat some roadkill. Yeah, they're waiting to see if it returns back across the channel or if it stays in the UK. But it's a female and it's been uh, up at the Peak District as well. Uh, where they nest so you might find it might have laid some eggs in this country if it's laid eggs here it ain't going nowhere it's hunting and if it's hunting uh, further south than the Peak District in this area I think that's a good sign personally it's not good for uh, rough sleepers and things like that. The you know, last thing you want to do uh, or you want to see while you're uh, sleeping rough of a night time is a frigging great big vulture sitting beside you, is it? Especially in the middle of winter. So yeah, not a lot happening here and the local media just the same old normal rubbish court court sex offenders sex offenders breaching court orders another sex offender covid testing site opens more homes in peterborough city center benefit center a benefit despite risk to quality but that is the actual benefit office the old benefit office before they moved everything online so they've shut down the office and turned it into uh, low-cost flats and they they're saying that it could be uh... yeah this is the funny one large rise in COVID cases Twenty areas now. Eighteen tests in Hampton Vale. Got friends that live over there. In the previous seven days there were just five positive tests. Last week twenty neighbourhoods in the city recorded at least three tests. <coughs> Walking and flat and they'll be added to it. Right, let's see what areas it is. Um, Yaxley, Farset, Whittlesea, Kingscliff, Wood Newton and Eastern, Stamford Central, West and South, so Central, West and South, Stamford North, so you might as well say the whole of uh, Stamford then, isn't it? Deep in St. James, 
and Frognal, Market Deeping, Crowland, Wisbeach, Wisbeach St Mary's, family family area, Aldersea and Christchurch, all having cases. Um, I did see another area there as well, unless it's further down. Yeah, a couple of days ago it was all about uh, one of my son's areas. Now it's switched to uh, family areas now. And all the villages around where I am. But none actually here. Because no one can get any tests. And if you do apply for a home kit, home test kit, you, you're denied it. So... No one knows what the true extent of it is. We're just being told to believe whatever's in the local media, which is all controlled by the government, isn't it? Because anything COVID related has to be approved by a minister before it's published under these new measures. So it's bullshit. Right. Peterborough Central, 14 cases. 12 cases, Hargate and Orton, Longville. Central Park, that was the area where the uh, dog walker got mugged. And 